Okay, folks, it's me, Steve. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, so I want to go through some things here. This is a setup I have a shop vac and a cyclone separator and um, it, I've been using it for this basement remodel and uh, it's fantastic. You know all the dust stays in this, this uh, separator and you never really have to empty the shop vac. But it's kind of a hassle to hook them up. You know this has to go into the inlet of the shop vac and then and then this hooks up to your hose and your accessories and so on. And it's always like you're moving two things around and it's connected by hose and there's cords and everything. And so I built a container for it all. And I'm gonna go through what, uh, what we designed and why, okay? Um, so let's go mobile a little bit here. And um, I'll show you what we got. So basically, I built a base that houses the shop vac itself. And uh, you'll see it has uh, what's called soundboard on the inside. And it has louvers for ventilation. And um, when we put the shop vac in there, you'll see it fits just right. And, um, and of course, you know, you have to design that for your own shop vac. Um, everything's a little bit different, right? But uh, this one goes in here. And then uh, at the end of this, we're gonna go through the sound difference. Um, so uh, it was 88 decibels uh, when it was running before we put it in the box. And um, so then I'm gonna go and put the top on. I'll show you. This is the top that we designed. And it's got uh, component uh, storage there and then storage for the top uh, cyclone. And I'm gonna assemble it and we'll see how, how it looks. And now you can see how it all goes together, okay? Sorry, I'm kind of doing all this on my own. Not the most professional video, but we can get into some of the construction techniques. So I used um, that quarter-quarter method for the joinery and uh, found that to be really, really effective. Uh, I'm super liking it. Um, I, um, I have uh, made a spreadsheet, which I'm happy to share, which uh, shows how to uh, resize boxes. See, I have little feet on this as well. It shows how to resize boxes uh, and gives you a cut list for any size box using the quarter-quarter method. And um, works really well. And it's very fast. And um, once you get a, the hang of it, it's super easy to set up. And um, I really, I really think it's a really huge benefit to, to doing construction of course. Of course, you can do this with pocket holes and whatnot. That would work just fine. So here's the hose goes on here. And we have a strap for that. And then we have storage for the cord down in here. You can put both cords on there. And then I'm gonna, it's all in wheels, and I'm gonna wheel it over here and we're gonna test the, uh, the decibels of the thing again and see if it's quieter. Okay, so here the results are in from the sound test and it went from 88 to 81 decibels, which is a pretty good reduction. Um, you can um, you can see some of the construction details here. These are the uh, quarter quarter corners, and we just used uh, pocket screws for that center divider. And then um, I just used some old latches I had uh, to snap the two together. I used bungee cords for these uh, holders and um, hog rings to pinch the bungee cords on the ends. And we talked about the soundboard. The soundboard's in back here, but these louvers go all the way through. And you saw the inside uh, has um, soundboard as well. Um, and the soundboard is very inexpensive. So um, I think it was $8 a sheet when I bought it. It was at, sold at Home Depot, but I don't think they, they carry it all the time now, but you probably special order, order it. So there you go, that's the vacuum cart. And why, why do I need a vacuum cart? Well, as it turns out, even though this is a uh, indoor space here, I do do woodworking down here once in a while, um, specifically finishing. But sometimes I end up cutting things and uh, I have a workbench area over here. Uh, 
And um, so dust collection is important because we have some some nice furniture down here and stuff. And um, using this thing, I can cut wood with a track saw or a router. Um, and I use that Oneida dust collector for the router and uh, almost no dust in the air. This thing works really well. And I'm really impressed with that rigid shop vac. It's an older one, but they still sell them. Uh, and it pulls bigger than my, four, I think I have a 14 gallon shop vac or a Granger uh, version of a shop vac. Um, this thing pulls a little bit better than that. All right, thank you.